If you're asked to balance the net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus CaCl2, this is how you do it. First, you need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, and it looks like if we put a 2 right here, that should balance the molecular equation. Next, we'd write the states for each substance. That would look like this. Sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. These are both strong acids, so they'll be soluble. Calcium chloride, compounds with the chloride ion in general are soluble. But calcium sulfate, if you look this up on a solubility table, it's slightly soluble. For the purpose of net ionic equations, we say slightly soluble is insoluble. So this will be our precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That gives us the complete ionic equation. So now that we have the complete ionic equation, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So we see the reactants up here and the products down here. In the reactants, we have two of these H plus ions, two hydrogen ions. These are spectator ions. We'll cross these out. We have two chloride ions here. And again, in the products, two chloride ions, spectator ions. We cross those out. What's left is the net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus CaCl2. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sulfuric acid and calcium chloride. You'll note the charge is balanced. We have a two plus here and a two minus here. That adds up to zero, net charge of zero. In the products, we have a neutral compound here, net charge of zero as well. If you count the atoms, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.